<gasps> you know what this might be? It might be the last episode. The last episode. Got my shelf a cup of coffee. Been working all day. Feeling super tired. Perfect mood to try to figure stuff out, right? Yes. Alright, so. We have a couple. Couple confirmed. I was gonna say. Um. We figured this one out. Because he said, where's my Frenchman? Uh, your mate was torn apart, you know? So this one have to be correct, I feel like. This one, I think we know. I have this feeling that they're only confirming it. Yeah, when the three fates correct, but it, it seems to be... It might be pre-designed. Um, if it's these three people. I don't know. I might make stuff up. And here we go. Um, so this is what I was interested in seeing. Can't. I cannot. Can't choose. So I was thinking that if we know, where's the Formosa? This guy. Maybe he actually didn't die from it. So maybe he was... Indeed shot... By... If we take any of those guys... Mm, I don't remember... Which one it was. Like, if you think that this is Alexei, or even Henry, let's say Henry Brennan. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, you can just... <laughs> Where are you, Henry Brennan? Where are you? Man, there. Ah. Any one of those would have been fine, I think. Maybe it needs to be a confirmed one? There we go. Good, good, good. So he wasn't actually killed by the... hit in the head. Okay, cool. That's a good start. I like those beginnings. <laughs> okay. Um. Cool. Maba, that's such a cool name. You don't even have a last name. It's just... We all know him as Maba. Maybe we should revisit that memory. Let's start by doing that. You know, don't have anything better to do. Hi, I'd like to see how you die. Pok Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire! No, oh, poor dude. Hello. <laughs> Cross eyed. Betsy is such a good girl. 
Ah. Yeah. Yuck. He's just scratching his skull for that thing. And you are confirmed too. Oh no, are you taking Betsy? Hi. Um. Yeah. Um, by self confession. You think so? Like. Hi, boys. How you doing? Um, you're confirmed, you're confirmed. Hello, Tiki. I mean, rooster. Mm. <laughs> you all aim a little bit different. Was I supposed to, like... Could I have found that? Yeah, I think so, actually. You could follow the fire line and you can see which one is actually like giving a splatter. It's a splatter that killed. Um yeah, you're confirmed. Hello, Captain. But these guys are the ones we're interested in. Mr. Wolf? Someone pointed out that between the two female passengers, you could see one of them wearing a wedding ring and one of them didn't. So the one that didn't was Miss. Um, so I'm thinking that it might be just tiny, teeny, teeny, small, small details. Like that. You know? Oh, little one. There's one top man left. And a couple of seamen. Do we think it's a seaman or a top man? I would say it's a seaman, right? Hmm. It means that we still have one top man left. Do I have you bookmarked? I don't need you. I don't need you. We don't know this guy either. I can't put in a guess even. Could I even put in a guess for this guy? I can't. There we go. I think it's going to be three fates I can't establish. Hey, hey. Let me tell you a secret, you know. Don't touch the fire. She already did. Okay? You're not going to save anybody. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Okay. It's all fine, John. In the worst spot, I think. Where's the rest of it? Like, oh, okay, wait, hold on. What are you doing? I wanted to go to the John bit. No. There. So it's John. Yeah. It really comes down to this. One of them got electrocuted. One speared, one eaten, and one decapitated. Decap Right? <laughs> Such a good voice acting. I wonder if you're trying to convince them. Nope. 
No pay. No pay. Damn. Like I'm judging people a lot based on how they look. There's this one we didn't visit more than once, I think. I think. Hmm. I was trying to find this one before. Damn. Confirmed. Man, good job. Look at that. Oh. Winston Smith. I thought we had another brother. But no. Okay. I'm at the point now where, I mean, it's like the ones that have three of them up here are much easier to guess than the one that's got two. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Where is Sierra Leone? No, it's in Africa. I don't know, where we did we see him? I mean... I only saw him in this one. Three more fates. Ah, John. John. <laughs> That was undeserving, I guess. Don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad. I made a gate. That one we don't know either. You see, it could be this one. It could be the other one. We don't know. Ouch. Down for Nick. What's going on? Stay back. It's already down for Nick. Hey, come on, boss. No, get there. Hey, cat. So we have a Nick. 
you somewhere. You three are all confirmed. Yeah. I'll stay. Have to be Nicholas. <laughs> Zoom. All right. Um. Not this poor guy. George, I'm sorry. You weren't that memorable. Yeah, so what have you done for Nick? <laughs> I'm feeling really bad <laughs> to go for chances. Don't look at me. I'm guessing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should feel pretty feel so bad about it. And uh, that one I'm quite sure of. This one we don't know. This one we can't even guess. Do we know anyone else that was torn apart? During this attack? I don't think so, right? No. The mate was torn apart. Because then he... He made was torn apart. It had to be this. Though you wouldn't think so because... He's standing with a fancy hat, so you'd sort of expect the bosun's mate to also be a little bit fancy. And he's not fancy. He was torn apart though. Didn't feel like he was a top man. Gonna forgive myself. But I am taking a couple of guesses, which I don't I would want to know where where could you find those answers? Because I'm gonna cut it out, but I was wandering through all of those memories, like over and over and over, and I just couldn't find it. I couldn't find it because so I'm, I'm thinking like this that he's having a well obviously i'm thinking prince of persia right so i won't put him as oh shit as omit because he was having one of them so 
Right. And it just ups and up and disappears. it unfold. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Your mate was torn apart. I don't get it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> I guess we can go and check that one out too. Just to be sure. Sorry, sorry. 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 Apologies. there. Oh. You think this is the mate? And we just assume the other guy was because they are fighting together here. Does it hurt to try? No. Can we try it out? Yes. This entire time. That was good. Just assumed that he was... Finally. Excuse me. Just assumed. I like it that way. I thought that was good. I just assumed that it was the guy that we saw getting torn apart. That was him. But it wasn't. That is funny to me. Oh, poor thing. Are you Mappa? Oh my god, that's good. That's good. Then I still think that you are this guy and you were shot by <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Oh no, my God. Huh. There's nothing left to do on the Obra Day. I've been playing for so long. Should I just make a bonus episode like 
Oh my god, that was so good. I was convinced. I was convinced. I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you so much for success for me. Sorry about the rigging. Alright. Damn. Sir, I know you've been waiting for me. I don't know where you are, but... Uh... MKB. Hello. Let's go. Oh my god, what a journey. Let's see what happened to the last two then. Hmm? We should go. Yeah. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Yeah. Is it like to change your mind, maybe? Why that oh. finally <laughs> sit down so you don't fall out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. Oh, man. One week later. The Honorable East India Company Insurance Assessment for the Good Ship Obradin, victim of calamitous events at this at sea, prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. Ship damaged in squall, Atlantic sunk in storm, Falmouth payout claim 20k. Yep. All cargo lost, payout claim 5k. Yep. Cargo crown. All cargo lost, payout claim, 3k, yeah. Murder of crewmates, 4. Estimate, 4 forfeited to the crown. Estate forfeited to the crown, sorry. Wow, yeah. 25 bucks. Yeah, fate unknown. Extraordinary Valor Exceptional Performance of Duties as uh, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages and Reward. 90... 90 bucks! That's your worth, mister. Clubbed. Torn apart. Nobody claimed for the poor bosun's mate. Yeah. These are just all the uh... mm. shot by the cannon by the beast. Oh my god. Yep, you get 70 bucks for that. Cool. Poor helmsman. No claim made for Abigail. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate one, findings of demerits. Thirty-five bucks. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Hmm. Exceptional performance of duties. Ow. Wait. Attempted mutiny. <laughs> so, where is our... Unknown, oh, yeah. Murder of crewmate. Failed to perform duty. Yeah. Crushed by the cannon. Hmm. 
But where's the... The asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Criminal finds a murder of crewmate to attempted mutiny theft of cargo. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> a lot of no claims. Yeah. <laughs> attempted mutiny. Total coin 21, 29,285. A preliminary draft of, uh, of this assessment has been approved by the Royal Trades. Th that word. On behalf of the Honorable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Entirely. Aaron Garfield. The pocket watch remains in your possession. The book returns to its original owner as requested. Come on. One year? Damn. Snail mail. Slip. Yeah. I wanna get up. <laughs> eh, lady, I'm stuck. I can. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Mm. Better you don't open it inside. I'll yep. be turning in now. Yeah, good night. Tea's in the kitchen. Thank you. Lady, I can't get up from the chair. Alright, bargain. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. I just wanted to know his secrets. I waited a year. Wait, did he send me his head or something? Is that why he's stinky? <laughs> he succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that uh, his gratitude gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remains, the Obradin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget to do not write back. Jane Bird! What's the smelly? Is it a monkey paw? It's a monkey's paw, isn't it? There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. There's no time. We need to go. Right. What are you up to? It's the shell, isn't it? The monkey. Oh shit!
Oh no, I thought they survived. Friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. We thought they survived. A third shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. He did. Well, let you free. Give it the shell. Do it. Hoist it out to the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when, when you leave. Get the tail, boy. I just wanted the shell back. The ship. Leave it alone. Used to fire somehow. Oh no. That's why they tried to stop them when they tried to leave. That's sad. I wanted them to survive. A captured beast fought against its jailer and was spread, uh, spare, spared for the trouble. <sighs> Man.
Well, I guess he earned the title of piece of shit. It wasn't just bad luck, right? He brought it upon them. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Lord, my God, actually. Why did you do that? So you got locked in here and then you opened up the... You locked in here with them, huh? Harre min gud. This is sort of burned. Obra done. <laughs> yeah. For me. That's the last big brain tune. That sucks. So he got locked in here for... For actually wanting to... Set them back to begin with. He opened the... Chest, saw that. And they came in and, and tried to release them. Or did. Captain killed two of them. Stupid captain, he earned a new title. Piece of shit! Ba -ba -da -ba -dum, boom, 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 for my dad! That was a good game. That was really funny, but I'd, if any one of you know how to figure out those last ones, because I did take a couple of chances, let me know. I love the one that your mate was torn apart. I was so sure of it, so sure of it. That was good voice acting. Nice. <laughs> Did 
this whole mutiny thing also looked very different after that. Captain cannot be trusted. Yeah. It was, it was a piece of shit. Ready? The fuse! The wind is upon us! Talking about monsters! Is that all you got? Thank you so much for tagging along with me on this journey. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all of that nice stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I felt I couldn't end this episode without just going over how, how I saw the whole thing unfold. And we're starting off with just a general journey. They're going on a trip, you know, and their goal is to just go from here to there, right? Or somewhere, somewhere there. So what happened on the way is obviously this guy, uh, Peters and Peters, uh, it was a freak accident. It just happened. Not really more to say about that. We're getting an introduction. They, they, they have some bad luck on the way. Not far from there, from, um, from the, from the, from the, do 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 Lascar house. Yeah, people fall sick and it just it just happens too little c vitamin right and then we're coming to the point here so edward he's seeing these formosa royalties and he realizes they might have something that he wants so it just starts with his greed and Nunios uh, Pasca, he notices this, uh, Edward kills him, and they wrongly translate what this guy is saying, and they execute him. After that, they decide that we're going to kidnap the whole royal family. Edwards and those dumbasses, they're going to kidnap the royal family, and that includes the chests. And this is where it gets really interesting, because this Formosa royalties, they obviously knew something that we don't. It was something about the shell, the chest, the quicksilver and everything else, and we don't know anything about that at this point. Instead, we're coming into the calling. Which is, they're being kidnapped, they are saying that the chest can't fall into the water, they are aware of the monsters, they know everything. The Formosa royalty. So what happens is that suddenly they get attacked. They get attacked by these mer people or mermaids or whatever. And a couple of them already seem to have a shell in their possession. So at this point, Lim is telling him, telling Bang to get the chest. Miss Lim stay down. And what he does is that while well, he attacks, but he takes the shell from the lower compartment of this chest. He opens up the top and he sticks it down into the quicksilver. You see this chest. This is where they kept the shell. And I think it was just out of sight. They couldn't see it. But for some reason they had to travel from one place to another. They knew about this chest with the quicksilver. It might have been that they had the shell and they had to take the water route back to Taiwan, right? The Formosa royalty. And they... Because it almost looks like... I thought it was like a scale at the beginning. 
And so it might be that they were controlling or they could control or they could somehow use the power of this shell. Because later on, what happens when he comes back with the treasure, wait, I have treasure, um, they are made aware they are taking these captives because they didn't die, they just passed out or they were under control of the t of the chest or the shell being down and dunked into the quicksilver in the chest. Uh, and this is where the last Formosa dies. And the only one who really knows what's happening. It goes, shell, what shell? They don't know about it because it's hidden in the chest. So the cook noticed that there's a pre there's a, pre a shell here. Um, so those mer people still have the shells. And the shells, I think, contain, or they can, the calling, they can... They can call out with the shells. So maybe the shell called out to them. That's how they saw it. Because it was unprotected by by the chest. It got out. And then... We have here. So, yeah. Uh, unholy captives. Um, here I am a little confused. So what really happens here is that... This Philip doll, um, he notices or he knows that something is wrong. We need to get rid of it. We need to get get it out of here. And so he tries to get into this lacerate where they, or something where they are keeping the shells or something or another. Something happens here that uh, makes him attack this person. And I am not quite sure why, but he did. Uh, maybe to try to get past him, to try to take the shells, to throw them overboard himself. I don't really know. But he gets thrown into the Lacerate, so he's stuck there. And while that happens, while the creatures are being held captive in the Lacerate, they are using the shells to call out. And that's why they're getting attacked. So soldiers of the sea... Um, this is just a freak accident. I can't say anything else. I don't think that's really related. It's just what happens. But those uh, stingy butts get um, the attack. Uh, most likely because the mer people are calling for them. Calling for their help. Maybe they are the royalty of the mer, the mer people for all we know. So they get a, a lot of people are being killed. And during this entire event, Philip Dahl is still stuck down below. In the Lacerate with the Mer people. We don't know. Like maybe he actually was. He could confirm that they were calling out. Because uh, you could hear them in, in later on. You can hear how they were like trying to communicate. Um. So here they're just, just people. People dying. And then we have the Doom. Chapter 7. So he's still stuck down there. Uh, and at this point... These guys are trying to leave. They are leaving. Let me on over my dead body. So several of them are trying to leave after this. I'm not sure why. But they go. And then suddenly this Kraken is attacking. Kraken is attacking. Um, and you can see their boat being... A bit away from the the Obradin. So did they try to run away? I don't know. Um they were holding something. I mean maybe it was just he was just holding his possessions and they were leaving, but they drowned. Um all of this shit break loose is just holy hell, oh my god. Uh, she gets smooshed by a stick. And so these guys, well, he we saw fall over. I think he, yeah, he tried to run away. Uh, he tried to run away, I know that. Electrocuted and, and torn apart, apparently. Um, and here we come to the bargain. So what happens under... Um, I have to move past it because during this one... They are saying that uh, Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. So that happened during 
at the same time during the bargain. So during the bargain episode, which, by the way, we only accessed because the dude shot the monkey. And he kept a part of his body. That's that because he th that guy, the surgeon, he knew that we could go back and see what happened in here if we had a corpse that we could access this whole section with. Get it? That's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty freaking cool. Um, H E. Right. Surgeon Henry Evans. So he knew that we could go back. Right? Alright. So to the bargain. To access it, thank you, the surgeon who survived, by the way. We find out. What is this? Quicksilver, Herr um, Remingud. And he pulls out the shell. I'm not sure why he sticks his hand down there. Maybe he sees the shell. I don't know. Uh, no one else was present. Yeah. And then we have it here. This is where the captain comes down and he chases it off. So he's killing two of them. Maybe the ones that have the shells that they can call out. But apparently they stop. They stop calling out. Um, One other person was present. I mean... Yeah. Um, and he keeps going. I'll kill every last one of you monsters. Withdraw the Kraken or I'll kill you all. And then we have here the third mate. So he he knows a third shell. Captain didn't toss them all. So Captain took two of the shells. And said that he threw them. But he found a third one. Um. They wanted to just throw out the bodies or just release the last one that may have survived. I don't know, but they found the third shell on Philip Dahl because he pulled one up, right? So the third creature didn't have a shell. The captain killed the two creatures that had the shell. Okay, so it's the third shell. Um, and he doesn't have it. So did the captain just randomly not see that his mate Philip Dahl was dead and holding a shell or what? I don't know. Maybe... The Quicksilver covered it and he couldn't see it when he was there. I don't know. And it just slowly poured off. Like, I don't know. Um, in return, the ship Dobra then see it home. Get it? So, how is this all happening? How is this all happening now? It doesn't feel like it's in proper order. It feels like... Well... So it feels like Philip Dahl is sitting down here, sure. But he is coming down and it says one other person present. He's not highlighted. It's like he's already dead, right? But it feels like he did this first. And then, after he killed those two, is when Philip Dahl noticed the third shell inside here. Um, these guys are coming down like, Here, Mingir, this is our third shell. Give it to the creature that survived. And the creature kills... Martin, because they know they had to release it, right? Um, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good in my head. And the only reason we got through this and got access to this entire chapter was because of that monkey. So he knew. He knew. And then we have the escape. After, yeah, he did. Yeah, they tried to leave. Um, for some reason, this guy, the Russian dude, is not really on board with them leaving. But the captain says, let them go. Um, stop, let them go. And that was just after this. He just came up after this. So he is just completely disshelved. His mate is dead. He had to kill those creatures. And meanwhile, the other ones are tossing out the, all the other creatures and whatever. Um, but they managed to escape. This guy dies. That guy, they are talking about mutiny because they can't trust the captain. I mean, they can't trust the captain. Uh, the captain decided to take the, the chest on board. Um, maybe, like, to return it? I don't really know. Uh, he made this decision and 
and um, Philip Dahl was already shouting at that point that they should just throw it back. We don't know anything about those shells. We should just leave it. And the captain decided to now just bring it on board. And that sort of cost this entire thing. So they're talking about the mutiny, right? Um, and he tried to stop it. And they escape. Yeah. H.E. Henry Evans. Pretty cool. And then at this point... Um, they... they so it, it basically everybody is just really dead. And uh, they are going on about... Um, these will break it down and take more than those shells. Like, I don't know if they were going for like, oh, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna make it look good. You know, I don't know. At some point, it's just a bit like self-defense. They just wanted to talk with the captain and he was being just... I don't know. Massive PMSing? I don't know. And then this dude just jumps out and he's trying to... He stabs him and everything. Like, why? Why go to this extent after that? They run away and he's standing there and like, just let them go. And they're talking about mutiny and it's just shit to shit and... The captain just gives up and like, you know what? There are a couple of people left. I'm just gonna kill you all. Uh, I'm coming to you, my love. Hey, Biggie. I killed your brother. We're done. Full circle and we're dead. And that's it. And then this, the mer people took the Obra Dinn back. So. They lost their shell. Or the Formosa took it. They made. They did some experimentation on it or something that. They could release magic or the calling. They could control the calling through Quicksilver. And for some reason they had to take the short way back. Or they were even at the point where they, they, they wanted to try it out. Maybe they had to cross these waters to try it out. So the Formosa is just really interesting here. We don't know, because they were just passengers. We don't really know. Um, what the hell they were doing there? Just passengers. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, basically, we have uh, this little... Monkey shooting, uh, mustache twirling, a little uh, awesome person that uh, went to Africa. No, wait, he shot the monkey and then he went to Africa. And they must have roamed roam for weeks. But good job. Good job. And good job, to you too, ladies. Don't think they stayed in Africa, but okay. Yeah. That's gonna be my conclusion. I liked, I liked this game a lot. I, honestly, this one it was my absolute favorite. I was hell bent on on it being this guy. Ah, I like that. That was my be the best part. So yeah, I I really enjoyed playing this game, and I'm really really happy that you wanted to watch me, watch me struggle guessing, and I did a lot of guessing at the end there. But uh, like I said, if you know. If you know how, where I would have found those details uh, to try to get these last ones. Man, let me know, please. This game was awesome. I liked it a lot. i see you guys next time, alright? Please, I like having you around. It's fun. I'll see you then.